Hi, my name is Venki Nagapudi. I'm a product manager with the EBS Snapshots team. Today, I'd like to introduce EBS Snapshots Archive, which is a new tier for snapshots. EBS Snapshots are incremental point-in-time backups of your EBS volumes. You're likely to use your daily and weekly snapshots quite frequently to restore them into volumes within minutes. However, you might also have uh, a need to keep full copies of your monthly and yearly snapshots, as well as snapshots that you take at the end of a project and retain them for several months or years for regulatory and compliance reasons. You're also likely not to restore these snapshots as often. For such snapshots, EBS Snapshots Archive provides up to 75% lower storage costs. Let's see how to use this product to archive snapshots and to restore them. To use the product, go to the EC2 Snapshots console and navigate to the Snapshots page. Here I'm showing you my snapshots that, that are in my account. When a snapshot is first created, it is in the standard tier. And I can archive any snapshot as long as it's owned by me and, as, and it's in the standard tier. So let's say I go ahead and click on the snapshot. I want to archive it. I go to the Actions tab and I say Archive Snapshot. You see that you can archive a snapshot and it creates a full copy of the snapshot in the archive tier. And you won't be able to use this snapshot unless you first restore it. So if you want to create a volume out of an archived snapshot, you first have to restore it before you use it. And you are fine with that, so you go ahead and you archive the snapshot. When you archive a snapshot, it can take anywhere from several minutes or hours to finish archival. You can, you can look at the progress of the snapshot using the uh, the tab the tab that I show here the storage tier tab. So let's say in this case I just started the archival of the snapshot. I am showing that archival uh, archival is in progress, and the tier change progress shows zero percent. Since this could take a few hours, I had already archived a snapshot before. So let me navigate to that snapshot. I'll show you how an archived snapshot shows up in the storage tier tab. It'll show that the snapshot is in the archive tab and archival has been completed. And in order to use this snapshot, you'll have to go ahead and restore it. And you can do that simply by going to the Actions tab and then restoring a snapshot from archive. So you'll pay a one-time charge for restoring a snapshot from archive. And you'll have two options, one to permanently restore it from the archive tier, in which case a copy no longer stays in the archive tier, it's permanently deleted in the archive tier and shows up in standard. Or you could choose to do a temporary restore for a time period such as, let's say, five days. Once you do that, and you can have a maximum of up to 180 days of temporary restore, you can go ahead and restore the snapshot. As with snapshot archives, snapshot restores will also take about a few hours depending on the size of the snapshot. Let me show a snapshot that I temporarily restored earlier on today. So when I navigate to the storage tab of the snapshot, it shows that the temporary restore has been completed. And in this case, I have a temporary restore for 14 days. So I restored on the 5th and I have time till the 19th to use this snapshot, after which it goes back to the uh, archive tier. So it's a very simple product to use. You can either use this uh, console here or you can use CLI calls, modify snapshot archive, uh, actually modify snapshot tier and restore snapshot tier in order to use this product. The other consideration here is that you will need to have a minimum archival of 90 days in the snapshot uh, archive tier. Uh, so if you want to get more information on this product, go to aws.amazon.com slash eb.